Bingo. Any luck, Stace? Not much. It's just his full name and address. Seriously? You are amazing, girl. Oh. Who needs the bank? MapQuest shows he's only two miles away. Call my 230, see if they can push it to three, and get Andrew down at security on speaker for me. What's with the munchkins? The Robins. It's take your kids to work day. She's sick of them already and she pawned them off on me. Hey, lunch tomorrow on me at Gianni's, babe. Security. Andrew, this is Tracy at Fletcher Morgan. What's up? Remember what I told you to look out for? Yes, ma'am. All that's coming today. A couple carpet installers, FedEx, a courier. Everyone signed in and out. Perfect. Please call me on the number I gave you if you get anyone new in the next 15 minutes. Yes, ma'am. Fletcher Morgan, this is Stacy. Okay, no problem. Let me put you on hold. I could just come in and talk to him. Well, the manager's out right now, and actually his name is Kenneth. Oh, my bad. Uh, honestly, I couldn't tell over the phone. I didn't ask for a name. Uh, will he be back soon? Well, uh, he actually went on an errand, and he should be back in about 15 minutes or so. Over there okay? Wherever you like, ma'am. Thanks. coordinator here? No, we don't get that much business here. And that's the manager's job.
Yeah, tell him I got his money. I'll be there in 30 minutes. Look, he knows I'm in the game. The range just stopped. I should be fine and good to go in 30 minutes. See you in a bit. Thanks. What you got? A man just signed in down here. He's headed for Fletcher Morgan. Where exactly is he now? He's coming up the elevator. Hi, I'm here to see Bill Hoffman. And you are? Blake Chance. Hold on one minute, please. He doesn't seem to be answering his phone. Let me go get him for you, okay? Okay, thank you. Hello, you still there? Yes, Andrew. Tell me, can you exit onto any floor of the building without a security card? No, ma'am. Only the ground floor down by me. Oh, thanks. Hey. Yes? Oh, excuse me, uh, wrong girl. I'm sorry. No problem.
Yes. Hi, I'm staying in room 230 here. I heard a loud noise while I was trying to take a nap. Maybe a slamming door or something. Did you hear it? I sure did. I think it came from next door. So much for peace and quiet. Yeah, I thank you. I, I think I'm going to go downstairs to, to the uh, front desk and let them know. Okay. I was hoping for some peace and quiet myself, but that was anything but. Right. Thanks. Thank you. Sorry to bother you. No problem. No bracelet either. He's not your guy. Well, it's too late now. I'm officially freaked out. How am I ever going to catch my guy if I'm always worried about who's coming after me? I think that's the point, hon. Oh, hold on, Andrew's calling. Andrew? Another guy just signed in. He's waiting by the elevator, is fiddling on something. Looks like one of those GPS things you told me about. Does he have a bracelet like mine? Can't tell. He's got a jacket on. Can't he hear you? No, he's looking my way, but he can't hear me. Tell me when he gets on the elevator. He's getting on. He's coming to five. I'm not on five. Thanks. No. No, 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 no. no. your office. He went up, you came down. But he wasn't.
How did you do that? A magician never reveals his secrets. I will say, eight feet goes a long way. I left the stuff to give you up in my office. I honestly never thought I'd be out this early. God damn it. That's what I thought. You can't stay in there forever. No, but you can stay in there until it stops raining. She told us about the game she was playing, and we agreed to help her, which means you're not getting in that room anytime soon. We know how it works. And you can leave the hotel now, or I can call the police. I forgot about my job interview. Hey! I know you're in there. What is going on? What's on your wrist? And uh, just went down to the front desk and they told me that someone else had complained about the, the noise and the door slamming and said it came from your room. Are you kidding me? I, I mean, I, I believe you. Hey, what are you doing? Sorry, it was a good try by you. I'm sorry, it's just a game. I'll, uh, I'll meet you in the lobby to get your items. I don't think she can hear you. What do you mean? Because if it's the same girl who cleaned my room earlier today, I think she's dead. Just like a shitty day at the track. I'm sorry, you're my first knockout. Just a luckless son of a bitch, I guess. You know, if they had a line on this game in Vegas, I wouldn't have put a smart wager on me. Yeah. Hey, who cares, right? You have a good run at the track, you'll make more than the winner of this game. Sure, if you're doing things just for the money, you gotta be lucky. I'm not just doing this for the money.
that, my dear, is why you're still in the game. Something strong. Rusty nail? You got it.
got his first knockout today. Looks like he made a friend too. Make any friends in the forest today? A blue ghost, perhaps? Of course not. Ghosts are just a myth. Hello, hello, what are you searching for? Hello, hello, is it me anymore? Low in the dark I stay, low in the dark I pray For tomorrow's new beginning The night brings no peace, a silent surrender Could it be time? For me to remember why I'm really here. How am I all alone? Tell me what am I? You want to order some food? No, I'll get something at the bar when I'm ready. Maybe you should check the menu anyway. I told you I'd grab food at the bar. <laughs> Are you one of the nine that's left? Like you? Yeah, no thanks, I'm out. <laughs> what are you talking about? I thought this was supposed to be a fun game, you know, a little cachet, a little capture the flag, a little make-believe hunt your neighbor. It is. No, it's not. It's more than that. There's some strange shit going on. Like what? What are you talking about? I'm being followed. That's the whole point of the game. I'm sure a lot of people are following you. This guy isn't wearing a bracelet. He's not playing the game. I've seen him outside my place three times and once outside of a cash spot. How'd you get this picture? That's the weird thing. He let me take it. Let me get this straight. You dragged me out here to tell me you're quitting? That's part of it. I mean, that guy freaking me out would be enough for me to quit. There's more. <laughs> you seen the blue guy? Blue guy. The guy in the blue robe and the blue mask. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you'd know it if you saw him. He's really freaky looking. He's been watching us from the distance. Where did you see this guy? When I took out my first mark. He was just like standing in the middle of somebody's front lawn. Makes sense. Don't you find it a little coincidental that out of the 15 people playing this game, in this town, this time around, five of them are connected to this bar? I'm not connected to this bar. I ran into it coincidentally when I got off the train. Oh, even four is too many, or three. David and Amon are, are both regulars here. I work here, and we're in the same game? And you just wander into Lamplighters by chance? No. No, statistically, it doesn't add up. There are puppet strings here. I can have my stuff. I'd rather you have it than David or anyone anyway. Call me and I'll give it to you. I can't take this. It's against the rules unless you're my mark. Then don't call. Either way, I'm out. Wait. A story for you. A story? Do tell. Actually, it's more of a cautionary tale. There's this man and this woman. They're walking in the forest late at night. It's dark. As they're winding down this path, 
this leprechaun jumps out of the bushes, scares the bejesus out of him. The leprechaun waves his hands, makes an evil face, screams at the couple, and then disappears back into the dark of night. The woman jumps back. She's petrified. She's in shock. The thing jumps back in the forest and disappears where it comes from. The guy doesn't move. He's standing right in the middle of the path. Doesn't say a thing. All of a sudden he turns around and says, What's wrong with you? And the woman says, What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? Didn't you see that leprechaun that jumped out of the bush? The, the forest? It just scared the hell out of me. And he says, Leprechaun? No, I didn't see any leprechaun. I don't believe in leprechauns. She says, All right, then what was that? And he says, Oh, oh, that thing back there? That was a leprechaun. And she's like, well, wait a minute, I thought you said that you don't believe in leprechauns. And he says, I don't. But that doesn't mean they don't exist. See a ghost in the forest today? Yeah. And I don't like it. But do you know why you saw him? I have an idea. And how do you think he fits into this little game we are playing? You tell me. Wait, go back. A couple channels back. There. Keep it there. You see that? An amazing natural wonder. Anybody who's ever seen Devil's Tower almost immediately relates it to this movie. It doesn't matter that it's existed for thousands of years or that it's a beautiful structure created by the earth. If you show someone a picture of Devil's Tower, you've got a 99% chance that this movie will be brought up. You can thank pop culture for that. Exactly, but it goes deeper than that. The path of history determines what happens next. Even though in reality, nothing of the remotest importance ever actually happened at Devil's Tower outside the movie. Enough time may pass where details will be lost. The human mind will make mistakes, and people will forget that those particular events associated with it were fictional. The wrong people write what's remembered as history, they change it to folklore, and suddenly you created something that didn't exist before. A myth. Yes, all it takes is enough time to pass for the details to be wiped clean. It's much easier in the past to create myths when there was no technology. But now with the advent of the internet, data storage, TV, I would say you have a much tougher sell. It's still possible though. You get a global cataclysm, and 500 years later, you've got the survivors teaching their children about the aliens that landed in Wyoming way back when. That scenario is far-fetched at best. It still won't stop people from creating their own myths, especially if they have a purpose. So the next time you see one of those ghosts, do what I do and stop believing it. Okay.